is going on guys? How are we all doing? Welcome to yet another match day experience of this Easter weekend. Today's going to be the fourth video, I think, but the eighth and ninth game of the weekend. Um, it's Cheltenham Town against Grimsby Town, one of the ones I've been looking forward to the most, um, and Bishop's Cleave against Mangotsfield. So today's video is again kindly sponsored by OneFootball, um, who I've teamed up with, um, and there should be some footage of the app that they, that they run just here. Yeah, as I've said before, it's a really cool app that you guys as Cheltenham fans, Grimsby fans, or Groundhoppers, or whoever else watches the videos, can download, link it to your favourite team, or not, just have it the app anyway. Um, and you can do some research into the games that you're going to. So I will do some more talk of this in the stadium um, when I get to Cheltenham, about the Cheltenham v Grimsby game. But yeah, in the meantime, let's go. It's quarter past ten, there's a one o'clock kickoff due to the Cheltenham police being idiots. Um, and yeah, <clears throat> looking forward to it. It's a special video for me as Cheltenham Grimsby this just over a year ago was my first ever video and I'm redoing the game today so I might try and put some little features in that, that link to the first ever video on the channel. <laughs> I think it was over a year ago, time just flies. So yeah, let's hit the road. Speak to you in a bit. alongside me this morning and I think uh, Matt we are agree you and I are certainly agree that when you look at the fixtures not it is beyond Tottenham I would have thought yeah. on form to look at the fixtures look at Tottenham's fixtures which also include Arsenal at home Manchester United at home I have to still stick with Chelsea let's not forget the Premier League record for consecutive wins is 13 um, maybe 14 now after Chelsea but to win the title is 13 Arsenal did it in 2002 I think Yeah. to go on a winning run at the end of the season and overhaul the leaders with uh, with that kind of a winning run uh, you know if they do this, this will be a, a, a record equaling feat and I I just don't see it happening I just respond to Rich and Stalbridge so in the context of Arsenal he's, he's texted in say uh, West Brom two points from the top six teams has he forgotten the win over Arsenal no mate how the mighty have fallen Pitch. 
Tottenham. It's been a terrible game. Chelsea were far the better side, but even they've not been that great. Harry Pell, yeah, not much to say about him. Hopefully, get a couple of goals in the second half. Well, the keeper's at it now. Hello, Douglas, my old friend.
So guys, I hope you have enjoyed that match day experience and the last one of an epic Easter weekend. Nine games in five days, planned it for months and months ago, but I've managed to pull it up, so really pleased with that. Um, two good games today, Cheltenham 2, Grimsby 1, unfortunately. Cheltenham probably did deserve to win. Um, that pitch was just impossible to play any football on at all. Um, absolutely shocking pitch but they have got two teams playing there I'm pleased for Gary Johnson and I know quite a few Chapman fans and they're all good people so I'm pleased that they'll be staying up but Harry Pell let himself down a bit today I think um, and then on to Bishop's Cleave 2 Mangotsford 2 this afternoon as well that was a really good game one of the best only games I've seen in a long time actually so yeah if you have enjoyed please do leave a like I'll also leave links down in the description to OneFootball. Make sure you go check them out, download the app. And also I'll leave links to my charity um, Just Giving page in which you can go down and donate to the Groundhopping Charity Challenge that I'm doing. Over £750 raised now, which is really good. Uh, not much like there. Um, so yeah, if you have enjoyed, please do leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you get 250 likes, that'd be great. And I'll see you on Thursday for Bromsgrove Sporting against a team that I've got no idea who they're playing but Broms go sporting on Thursday and then haven't decided where I'm going yet on Saturday so leave some suggestions in the description in the comments below. See you next week.